Shoes for sale? Yep. Sorry, I'm just jumping into your van, yeah, aren't I? <laughs> What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Carboot Sales, we're off again for a Sunday morning, 5.56am. They're about to open up. We're, uh, we're hopefully going to strike early. We are here before they even open, so fingers crossed that means we can get some good deals. Hey, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what I miss uh, today because that's always the most fascinating aspect of this. Um, let's dive into it. I'll take the camera around today and I'll, uh, I'll show you what I pick up. This is the old corner. on the shoes uh this is maybe ten dollars okay ten dollars okay and this is 20. and these ones over here uh this in uh <laughs> it's three dollars three dollars yeah okay i'll take those they won't fit you. No, <laughs> they won't fit me, but they'll fit my mum. That's good. That's all good. Um, what would you do for for the three? Uh, three, uh, three this pairs. One, one, two, three. Yeah. So this is how much did she say? She said three. three and so these Jam. two, I say. Oh, yeah, would you do twenty for the three? Twenty is good. Yeah. So much and, I never wear. Yeah, no, yeah. And three. Yeah. So twenty three, best. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'll take that. Yeah. I'll take yeah. Oh, what do you got there? Those ones, they? Hey, they they missed. They miss those. Full set. Full set. Not bad. <laughs> Two bucks. Timing is everything. Oh, is that right? What do you got? Couldn't tell you, mate. Couldn't tell me. What was packed in there? Some goodies. Any DVD box sets? Ah, uh, we did. They come in before and bought them all. Oh, did he? Where they come from? Yeah, it was pretty much. Yeah, gotcha. Fair enough. But yeah, big deep. There might be some of there. Couple of goodies. How's it been this morning? Slow. Yeah, oh, there's yeah. less stalls here, hey? Yeah, well, coming in when we were here, lining up to come in, there was nowhere near as many people down the road. She was parked all the way down the road, so. Yeah, I came about two weeks ago and it was it was all over the back as well. Yeah. yeah. I think with the car show, Father's Day. So. Oh, I didn't know there was a car show. Yeah, just over on the other side of Corona, mate. It's a car show. That'll probably have an effect. <laughs> so, that'll sell a lot of your little dinkies and cars and stuff that can come around. That's cool. No, it's good fun coming down here. Oh, no, it is, it is. Have you been doing this for a while? We, no, we were pretty good. I did a month Yep. We did a shot, but uh, it's, uh, over to the Tougher. Yeah, because you have to Yeah. Where's your shop? Up in Logan, Okay. Yeah, nice. So I didn't get the purchase here on camera, but everything you can see, the four box sets plus the Metallica CD, uh, I was able to get all of that for $12. So a really great get, all averaging between $20 to $40 worth of resale value and a really nice bloke as well. Someone I'm gonna go back to in the weeks to come. Uh, 
How much on the action figures? They're five bucks each. Yeah. Five bucks each? Yep. Okay. Oh, it's great. Love it. What does it do? It just gives you the prices. Well, it tells you what it is. Oh, yeah. So, just you download, take a photo. Yeah. Here we go. Take a photo of that one. There you go. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I know. That's, that's unreal. Figure. So, that's yeah. just like Google Lens. Yes, exactly. That's exactly. Yeah, what it okay. Is. Then you just go through and yeah, seventeen dollars. It's got. Oh, that's awesome. That's really cool. It helps me, you know. And my oh, man. Ah, five dollars. What are they? Just wrestling cards, are they? They're wrestling. They're little figure in them. Yeah, I honestly. Thank you. How much on the jacket? Ten bucks for that, mate. Ten bucks. I'll take that. And then these um these cards, hey. These what? Those? The wrestling cards. You're taking them, eh? Yeah, yeah, I'm Good on you. Do the old phones work? Yeah, the phones work, yeah, five dollars each. Five dollars each? Yeah. And the calculator? And the what, sorry? The calculator? Calculator, five dollars. Five dollars? Shoes for sale? Yep. Sorry, I'm just jumping into your yeah, van, aren't I? That's fine. Yeah, well, how, how much were you thinking for these? I had 10 on them. Had 10. Okay. For seven. Seven? Well, I'll keep having a look around for you, hey? An original movie world collection. It is. Yes. Wow. <laughs> I do love my plush toys. Yes. Have that for, you have the both of them for 20. The okay. Okay.
Thank you. Best of luck. Cheers. Thank you very much. You have a good day. So I'm back home now, guys. Everything laid out for you guys to check out. We've spent $72 and we've been able to get 14 different items. So the shoes are always the items that I'm looking for first when I go to the flea markets, especially early on, because I do think they could get snapped up pretty quick. Got the Ultra Boost, the New Balance, the Nike Footy Boots. DVDs, I've done really well. This bundle only cost me $12. He was a really nice bloke. Um, so to get all these for 12 bucks was just a steal. Anywhere between $20 to $40 for those uh, four there. And then this Metallica, I didn't do any comps, but it goes for about 15 bucks. Uh, a couple more shoes. I'm very excited about this state of origin. I'm gonna try and get these little marks off and see if we can't clean it up a little bit. But all in all, there's no tears on it. It is in excellent condition. Let me know how much you think I can get for that one. Just paid the 10 bucks. And then I've got these as well. And I don't actually know what model they are just yet. Obviously, much more of an old school phone than anything modern. Uh, I do need to probably get some charges and make sure that they actually work before I go on to sell them. But for five bucks, old school technology does still sell. So I'm happy to grab that. Uh, and then this one as well, this M&M Art Asylum 2001 figurine. If you guys know your figurines, let me know what you think I can get for this guy. Um, um, I did some comps and Art Asylum actually goes for, you know, two to $300 in brand new condition. So whether or not I can push upwards of maybe 50 to 100 bucks on that, maybe I'm being a bit outlandish, I don't know. But for $5, I thought he was a really rare find. Happy to grab him. Um, so all in all, guys, it's been a pretty good day. It was only an hour and a half out there at the flea market, but 14 unbelievable items. So I definitely think going early paid off today. I was there at 5.55, 6 o'clock start. I was rummaging through their stuff before they'd even set up their stalls, making sure I could cherry pick the best items. And I definitely think I did that today. We've got 14 great items. I think the resale value is going to be an estimation of somewhere between $400 to $450, which should get me around about a $200 to $250 profit. So that's been a really great morning, considering it was literally 6 a.m. to 7.30 in the morning. I was only there for an hour and a half, got in, got out, grabbed some great items. Actually, if you guys had watched my previous uh, car boot sale, there was a lady that was a little bit grumpy at the fact I was buying 10 pairs of her shoes for pretty much $10 a piece. I'll put that video right here for you, but in the end today, I actually just let her go because I could see that she didn't like selling to the reseller community because she knew that we were going on to resell her shoes based on the conversation that I had with her. But it was a really entertaining video, that one. There was a lot more grabs in the car boot sale as well. So go check that video out and thank you very much for being here for this one.